so there's a couple of different ways, and Jared and Arcady both touched on these. Um, we can centralize user data access in Snowflake. So any tool connecting to Snowflake, it's, it's the same data access model. It really doesn't matter what it is. If you've got multiple BI tools that you're using within your organization, uh, you've got uh, Power BI, you've got Looker, you've got Tableau, um, instead of rebuilding that, uh, that model in, in each one of those tools, rebuilding the access control and the security model in each one of those tools, we create the access control model in Snowflake. Uh, the opposite is, is that we, we reset that model in, in each and every tool. And you can see the challenge from that, as Jared mentioned, let's say you've got a new employee um, and, and we need to manage that employee's access and they're going to be using uh, Power BI and Tableau and, and some other tools. Uh, we've got to go in and then set up their access control in every one of those tools. And if something changes, that employee leaves the company, they have a transfer to another division where they should need to have different access. Now we've got to manage that and control that in a bunch of different places. And so what we want to do is to be able to push all of that control of the access of that data into one central place, which is Snowflake. Um, and so let's talk about access control in Snowflake. Um, so, we need to be able to restrict access to the data and make it easy, make it easy to understand and make it audible, auditable. Uh, we go into a lot of clients and, and we'll work with clients where they've got so many different roles and, and the layers of inheritance from, from the role that's assigned to the user to the role that actually has access to the objects is, is seven layers, 10 layers, 15 layers deep. And it, it's so complex and confusing. And, and what we see happen is somebody will make a change to a role inheritance. And all of a sudden, you've got a whole group of users that say, hey, my queries are all failing uh, I, because I, I can't get to this table. It says it doesn't exist or I don't have access. So yeah, and, then, we, and then the admins get ham-handed about it and start start making either revokes or grants on everything. And, and then all of a sudden, everybody's a sysadmin. <laughs> Yeah, so we, we want to we want to avoid that. So um, you know, we want again. We we can go into a lot of detail on this slide, but but really the bottom line is we want to make this easily understandable. We want to make it auditable. We want to be able to understand what's going on. Uh, we want to be able to manage the data access using definable data sets. Hey, folks! Thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, if you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.